way up there and uh -huh. uh, beautiful scenery. So you get to see like a the whole entire... Yeah, Tarazaki. Uh -huh. And you know, the cherry blossoms are beautiful. Mm -hmm. You had a really good time filming there. What about you, Jeanette-san? Well, actually, when I was filming Brown Day, it's actually yes. my first time in Japan. Oh. Yeah, and I've always wanted to visit. Mm -hmm. And when I was actually brought to Takasaki, I actually really loved the place because I felt it was very untouched by the very busy city life. Very, um, they gave off a very warm and pleasant vibe, you know, mm -hmm. where you can really enjoy the scenic view. And they had amazing food. And the next time I was back, um, I actually got to try this um, Takasaki sweets. It's uh -huh. kind of like a mochi, right, which right, is right. like quite, a, quite unlike what I've always tried because it's very soft and mm -hmm. it, it literally just melts in your mouth and wow. it's meat fresh. So it's really, really wonderful because they actually work with seasonal fruits. And mm. the fruits in Takasaki, it's like, it's so sweet. Right, because right, they ripen right. from the tree and then you just take it off from there. And right. plus, you only find it within Takasaki, okay. so you have to go there. You have to go there to actually experience it. Yes. Now, so all these uh, wonderful charms of Takasaki, be it the history, uh, be it the, the nature, be it the food, they're all kind of reflected well in your film, Ramen Tay, I felt. And uh, so could you tell us even with the even with the the Daruma. Yeah. Yes. Created in Takasaki. Exactly. It's, it's, yeah. it's a spiritual place and also uh -huh. you know we're only an hour away from mm. Tokyo. Mm. And we suddenly have all this peace about nature. Yeah, from the hustle and bustle of Tokyo. And, um, seriously, I mean it, it's so good to visit. And you know, filming there for us was an emotional period right, because right, you know, right. working with the, the film commission of Takazaki right. and the people yes. um, just very warm and lovely. It's unlike you know noisy cities mm. you know, with a lot of rut. But here you can really breathe and enjoy. You can really breathe and, and connect with and engage and with the, people. The food yeah. produce and the wheat and all that yes. is all very good from Takazaki. Right. Yeah. I think Singaporeans would love it. I'm, I'm sure they love it. Oh, oh. Sweet strawberries. Strawberries too. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> we really have to go there one day soon and try it for ourselves. Now, your wonderful movie Romante, which you have actually shared with us a little bit about, has been playing in your background for quite a bit, just behind you. So, could you tell us a little bit more? About the story of Raman, what is this movie yeah. about in a nutshell? So, yeah. so essentially, the yeah. uh, the lead character played by Takumi Saito is mm. half Singaporean and half Japanese, mm -hmm. and so he decides to make a trip back from Japan to Singapore to discover right. his roots. Right. But the exciting thing is, um, the film has traveled to about thirty different countries, and it opens uh, next month in Japan. That's right. And the final destination. Final yeah. destination, and the uh, title in Japan is Family Recipe. Wow. You know, so it's all about family cooking. Right, it's about family, it's about the love, family love, connection, and really um, being vulnerable and. Um, Open your, opening your heart. I actually didn't reveal too much about the film, just in case, you know, uh, for some of you have not watched the film just yet. But um, we all know that this film is, has a strong emphasis on family connection. Now, Jen and Sun, uh, talking about family bond, from your own experience of doing this production in both Singapore and Japan, do you feel that like, some kind of family bond or connection was actually created between the Singapore cast and staff and the Japanese cast and staff? Well, I actually felt that the collaboration was very comfortable mm -hmm. because everybody kind of like worked together very seamlessly and um, mm -hmm. the whole uh, communication went very well. Mm -hmm. You know, even like talking to the other cast on set, it, it's very, very comfortable. They were very, very friendly and even now we are still keeping in touch with each other. You know, it's so it's like they really just welcomed us and they really worked together so well. 
And plus, I think this connection thing went far beyond just like working on the film because like even when I'm in Takasaki and when we are in Takasaki, we actually feel like part of their family. Mm. Yeah, so I think that's that's the amazing thing that this film has brought to us. It's all these relationships and friendships, mm. and it really shows also how warm and generous that they they all are. Mm. That they really just welcome us and support us mm. in the film, and even as like we're there to explore like other things that we want to do. Mm. Yeah, so I think it's really wonderful. So it's kind of like uh, by being part of this film, it's like um, finding and discovering your family. Yes, we're in another family. Another family that, that, that is really existed. outside of your biological family. Yes. Of course, we have our own parents and our own relatives, but I think through this movie... It, it's almost like yeah. life imitates art. Exactly. Yeah, and then yes. it's usually, I mean, the bond is there. We're all so tight and close. And we have that yes. special connection with Takazaki. Yes, and the thing is that the beautiful part of it is the Japanese title for ramen tea, as you have mentioned, is family recipe. So, voila. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so this um, ramen tei is actually a dish, which is a fusion dish between the Japanese ramen, which we all love, don't we? And uh, Singapore baku tei, right? So that's why it's called ramen tei. So I think we can say that ramen tei is a symbol of bond that was actually created between Singapore and Takasaki City. So out of all the different regions and possible film locations in Japan, why did you actually choose Takasaki City, Erickson? Because it's very, very beautiful. And you know, when I was looking at the pictures and then visiting Takasaki, it was the perfect place to show you know, our, our movie. Um, already from day one, I didn't want to film in a major city. I wanted something quaint, something beautiful, mm -hmm. and it, it fit the bill on every level. And also because of the history and, mm -hmm. and the, the, the sort of spiritualism that mm -hmm. the city has. That, that motivated, motivated me a lot, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, and as far as the Takasaki Film Commission people have actually shared with me, there has not been a film, a Japanese film, in history uh, in which Takasaki City was featured as the main destination or the main setting and uh, ramen tea is actually the first of its kind and I think a lot of people will come to know about the beauty and the charms of Takasaki through ramen tea. Yes. yes. Right, so um, Jeanette san you're actually Takasaki's PR ambassador and uh, during, you know, during the shoot of ramen tea also uh, you visited Takasaki a couple of times after that um, to actually fulfill your mission as the Takasaki PR ambassador. And right next to you, there is the poster of you. It's a very pretty poster of you holding. What are you holding, Jess? It's a clear pear. A Japanese pear? Oh, yeah. It is so <laughs> huge. And the amazing thing is when we actually visited the pear farm, they told me that there were like there were like 20 over varieties. And they actually all look the same. But they all do taste different. This really? one I really, really have to say. It's like when, when they cut open like three or four different varieties for us to try, they all have their own kind of sweetness and texture to it. So it's really amazing. So you have to really go try it. And it is so sweet. Huge. And usually, the bigger the fruit is, I have the impression is that the less sweet it is, but how did you how did you like it? How did it taste? It's so sweet. sweet. Yeah, but you know, it's like this is the, the the thing about like visiting the farms. You know, it's like where the fruit ripens from the tree. It's really when it's like fully ripe and it's sweet to the maximum. You know, like, usually yeah. the, the 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 fruits that we get here in Singapore, maybe it's like maybe eighty percent sweet, and then they export it. So you know, you don't really feel. You don't really get to experience the fruit that that you know how sweet it can be and visiting the farm you can actually taste like different varieties and actually you know really get the full experience yeah, yeah. did you try pruning did you actually prune the pear itself as well did you try that they, they did teach me like yeah. how to yeah. actually like get it yeah. off yeah. <laughs> and yeah. i believe that poster was actually taken in the farm yes um, the and i've never yeah. seen a pear farm before it's really low so you have to like really oh, crouch it's down low. Low. yeah 
if I stand up like at, at my height, like oh. it's about here. Yeah. So all of us are like like crouched, like walking. <laughs> yeah, it's really amazing. Amazing experience. And Takasaki City is, you know, also known as the one of the best food production regions, not just in Kuma Prefecture, but in the entire Kanto district as well. All right. And talking about which, right? With like Jeanette said, I'm sure you have tried the pear before many times. Have you? You haven't! Oh, you have to! <laughs> wow, that is wonderful because... Yes, here it is. I'd like both Eric's son and Jeanette's son to try the pear right here. It's freshly really good. Cut, freshly very, cut. very nice. How do you like it? How do you like it? It's lovely. Really good. Can I have another one? So, yeah. Is it very fragrant? It's fragrant. Um, yeah. I haven't tasted a pear with this type of fragrant. Mm -hmm. really unique, yeah. So it's very different from um, Western so, pear or different. different, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is actually available for our wonderful audience as well um, here at Takasaki City Booth. So you know, even during the, the talk show or after the talk show, please um, try it for yourself and experience this. Pear Haruna sweetness. Alright? Okay. Crunchy. Alright, wonderful. Now, yes, they're sharing some secrets again. Yes. Have you finished sharing your secret? Are you going to tell us about it? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> You're very secretive, both of you. Okay. So, a little bit earlier as well, Eric's son. We have right next to you. This is Daruma. Okay. Now, do you know what Daruma is? Anybody in the audience know what Daruma is all about? Okay. This is Takasaki Daruma, and Daruma is basically a lucky charm in Japan. Okay. And it has been appreciated in Japan since the olden times as an auspicious symbol that make our wishes come true. All right, so is there anything that you can teach us about Takasaki Daruma? And what do you do with the Daruma? I think there was a scene yeah, there's a in scene with the film yeah. when Jeanette's son actually drawing yeah. the eye. Because it's, it's very crucial in the movie yes. about making a wish. Right. So maybe explain a bit. Can you explain so, how it or how the Daruma so works? So you had a wish. You draw on the left eye of the Daruma, and when you when your wish is fulfilled, you actually complete the other eye, and then you and you know they tell me that you have to bring it to the temple and return return that, and and when that wish is complete, and basically this is a blessing, mm -hmm. so it actually um, it's kind of like a lucky charm for you to actually have your wish fulfilled. Yeah, that's right. So this is a very one of the most, one of the very important symbols uh, that we have uh, in Ramen Tei movie, right? Now, as Ericsson has also mentioned, movie Ramen Tei, or Family Recipe, the Japanese title is, is going to be released across Japan very soon on 9th of March. Yes, congratulations to you, and it's its final release destination of the movie after touring around the world and being very successful uh, around the world as well. Now, we'd like to take this wonderful opportunity today here at Takasaki City Booth to make our prayer with all of us in the audience for the great success of Ramen Day movie in Japan. Thank you. Right? With Mr. Nagishi, of course, the Vice President, uh, Vice Chairperson of Takasaki City Council. So can we invite Mr. Nagishi once again on stage to present the Takasaki Daruba and wish for the great success of Ramen Day movie in Japan. Yes, Nagishi-san. Okay, there's a special message written on the back of the Daruma and it says... Can I see what? Ramen Tei, Kazaku no Recipe, which means family recipe. Daihito Kiga, which means wishing for a great success. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a big round of applause. It's a special presentation ceremony of the Takasaki Daruma with a special message to be given to Eric san and Jeanette san 
Okay, so maybe son, could you pass the door over? Right. Okay. So let's take a photo. Let's do a group photo of this very joyous moment, wonderful moment. Eric San, Janet San, and Mr. Nagishi holding the Takasaki Daruma, you know, wishing for the great success of a ramen day movie in Japan, which will be released on 9th of March. Okay. Of course, if you have to show the back, because that's why the special message is written on it. And um, this Daruma was actually created by a Daruma artist who came all the way from Takasaki. He's at the booth during the event and he will be doing some live painting demonstration. Thank you very much. And since since we're all here, we'd like to actually invite one member from the audience to join you all with group photo. Okay.